Good morning, folks. We're zoomed in on a departing feature on the western limb. It's one of a number of features we'll be eyeing today for a brief uptick in eruptive activity as a sun-diving comet is approaching our star. Visible from the edge of the frame, this is a substantial incomer expected to reach the sun later this afternoon. Let's begin, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com, finding the last 24 hours on our star. That is very, very calm very quiet. The SDO eclipse provides about the most notable event. There are no solar flares. They are entirely absent now that the one sunspot group is heading out of view and the earth face and quiet effect shredded the once large double sunspot region into virtually nothing now. Solar wind remains intensified due to the coronal hole stream. After a brief period of stabilization, earth's magnetic field re-entered geomagnetic storm conditions this morning. That's not too terrible because it's level 1 only, and they tend to keep quakes at bay. Equatorial coronal hole is small but relevant as the beginning of the northern openings, and while atmospheric factors have our eyes all over the place, the blot echo focuses clearly from the Indo-Philippine region across to the Solomon Islands. Top news today begins at Mars. When they back up from a close-in shot of Worcester Crater, they realized it was sitting in the middle of a flood zone long ago. Almost obvious how much water flowed across the surface here, and this is especially poignant today because two new studies out of Arkansas came at the life question from two different angles and both concluded that life could exist there now, let alone when it was a water world. Also linked for you guys is a NASA article describing how they plan to combine heliospheric observations to give advanced radiation storm warnings for astronauts. And lastly, it was just a week ago that the TRAPPIST-1 announcement was made. Seven new rocky exoplanets that closely mirror the Jovian system. And since that is the case, anyone who believes panspermia is a legitimate means of interplanetary life immigration, well, the Trappist system is a hundred to a thousand times more likely to experience that life spread than our own solar system. Big numbers, guys. Top weather alerts right now are in Europe and down under. Here it's the convergence coming off the Atlantic storm. Flooding is definitely expected. And coming down under, we see the northern monsoon attached to a low driving at the east coast, pretty much an alert everywhere from point to point along the shore. Folks with time running out and final plans needing to be made, I will have to stick to the 21 tickets remaining for observing the frontier. We expanded the seating twice already after selling out, and this has to be it. Truly, folks, last chance is probably this weekend. We've got the rest of your pressure and radar forecast, a null school global run, and shots of our star to close. It's 4.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.